Hey, what's good, y'all? How y'all doing? How y'all doing it, man? We are back. We are back. And as y'all see on y'all screen, we got the 2022 mock draft up. So y'all know what time it is. The draft is tomorrow. I'm excited for the draft. I'm ready to see where these young boys is going to go. I'm ready to see what my team do. I'm ready to see what every team does. Because this draft, in my opinion, is loaded. This draft is loaded. So we about to see, man. And this is me giving my opinion on what I think every team should do. If I'm these teams, this is what I think we should do. So let's get right into it. Let's start the draft. Now, to me, y'all see the, the number one ball up here. Now, it's been talked that the Jacksonville Jaguars, some people don't like Aiden Hutchinson uh, uh, or Shaq Khan likes Aiden Hutchinson and uh, the rest of the team don't. They want Trayvon Walker. Like, when did all this Trayvon Walker come about that he was the number one pick? Cause I'm looking at numbers between him and Aiden Hutchinson. I'm looking at, I'm looking at all these numbers between him and uh 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 Kayvon Thybukes, however you say his name. Where is he? This guy right here, Kayvon Thybukes, Thibodeau. Oaks. I don't know his name, but I'm looking at that and like, when did Trayvon Walker? You know what I'm saying? To me, Aiden Hutchinson and Kayvon Thibodeau were always the one and two in this draft. So, with that being said. I think the Jaguars have no choice but to draft Mr. Aiden Hutchinson with the number one pick. The next T.J. Watt. The next J.J. Watt, <laughs> in my opinion. He's probably the best defensive edge in the draft. I don't know about defensive players. There's a lot of great defensive players in this draft. But moving on to number two with the Detroit Lions. Now, the Detroit Lions. They need a lot. They need damn near everything. But I think they go out and, like I said, in my opinion... Because why did Kayvon fall? Like, what what, what made Kayvon Thibooks, Th whatever his name is, what made Kayvon fall? You know, he should not be ranked number seven. He's getting drafted number two if I'm the Lions. <laughs> Yo, they say the Texans need every position. That's so disrespectful. But they're really not lying. <laughs> they're not lying. But so we got Aiden and Kayvon first. But you know what team will jump? For Trayvon Walker, it's the Houston Texans. He doesn't even have a picture up there. So, I think the Houston Texans will jump for that. And those will be the top three picks. Aiden Hutchinson, Kayvon Thibukes, and Trayvon Walker. Moving on to the New York Jets. New York Jets need a lot, but honestly, I do think that they will go out and protect Zach Wilson. Well, protect whoever's their quarterback because they had a lot of quarterback injuries this year. Remember, we seen we seen Zach Wilson, we seen Joe Flacco, we seen uh, Mike White. I think his name was. We seen Mike White. We seen uh, they had a black quarterback in at one point. Um, so yeah, they had like four or five different quarterback options because quarterbacks kept getting hurt. So honestly, I think they're going to try to protect their guys and they're going to go ahead and get the best. Tackle in the draft and Evan Neal. As for the New York Giants, I made a video on New York Giants and I said, man, I said, yes, the Giants need to work on a line, but how much longer are you going to keep working on something that ain't working? Every time they draft a lineman, he disappears or he he he's not doing too well. So, like I said, I think they should draft Ahmad Sauce Gardner, and when we get to the seventh pick, <laughs> I'll show you who they should draft. But with this pick, with the fifth pick, Ahmad Sauce Gardner will be a New York Giant. Moving on to the Carolina Panthers. Now, it's been talk about the Carolina Panthers that Sam Darnold, Sam Darnold thinks he's a good quarterback. Uh, the Panthers have told Sam Darnold, don't, don't be surprised if we go out and draft a quarterback. And that's exactly what I think they're going to do. They're not telling him this for nothing. So a lot of people <laughs> may not agree with this, but last in my last year's draft, I had them taking Justin Fields. I think they should have took Justin Fields last year. But this year, I think they're going to take, and it hurts me to say this because I want my Steelers to go get him, but I think they're going to take, God, where is he? Where, where is he? Yo. Oh, right here. <laughs> Mr. Malik Willis. Yes. 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 Then you got the Giants back on the clock, and like I said, they should draft Ahmad Sauce Gardner and Mr. To me, he's one of the best players in this draft, and his stock is falling for no reason. Kyle Hamilton. That's insane. <laughs> That's insane when you think about it, dog. 
That's insane when you think about it. They have a montage Gardner and Kyle Hamilton. But moving on to this eighth pick, we got the Atlanta Falcons. And this is where I think the first receiver gets taken. Because obviously there's no more Calvin Ridley. You know, um, there's no more Russell Gage. They really don't have any receivers over there. Like they're I'm trying to think. Who's who are the Falcons number one receiver? I know they have Kyle Pitts, but I feel like I'm missing somebody. But I feel like they don't they don't have really anybody. So this is where I think the first receiver gets taken. And we're just gonna filter this because finding Malik Willis took way too long. And I think the first receiver is gonna be Garrett Wilson. He's gonna go number eight. As for the Seahawks, I don't think the Seahawks will actually draft a quarterback. You know, I think the Seahawks are one of them teams that are going to work on their line. They're going to work on their tackle position. And honestly, I think they're going to go out and get Akim. Akim is going to be drafted to the Seattle Seahawks. Now we got the New York Jets back on the clock. With they first pick, the New York Jets. Who who do I have the New York Jets pick? My bad. Let's go back and look. The New York Jets picked Evan Neal to protect Zach Wilson. Right? This time, I think they're going to work on more of their skill position. Now, to me, they really need help with the cornerback. They also need help with linebackers. They also need help with edge. They could use some wide receivers, but I don't think they're going to draft a wide receiver. I think they're going to wait to draft a wide receiver. And right here, I think that the New York Jets are going to go cornerback. And the cornerback that they're going to draft, I'm looking at him right now, but let's let's see who else is there. The cornerback... Yep, the cornerback that they're going to draft is Derek Stingley Jr. Derek Stingley is going to go to the New York Jets. Now, the Washington Commanders. I already got my mind made up on this. I think they like Taylor Heineke, but they may know Taylor Heineke isn't enough. So, I got two I got two quarterbacks going top 15 in this draft. Some people don't even got a quarterback going first round. But, I do think that the D.C. Commanders will draft a quarterback. And that quarterback will be Mr. Kenny Pickett. Yes, the Steelers aren't getting either. <laughs> and we'll get to that. As for the Vikings, I know the Vikings need a line. They need a guard. They need a center. But, you know, I think them signing Zadarius Smith isn't long term. It's not long term. I don't think they're going to have Zadarius Smith for long. You know, I think he's going to test out his waters with the Vikings. And their their 3-4 defense is really bad. I'm not going to lie to you. Their 3-4 defense is really bad. And there's a guy in this draft. Where is he? Let me find him for y'all. Let me find him. Let me find him. Let me find him. Mr. Jermaine Johnson the second. I think this would be a beautiful pick for the Vikings. And this would improve their defense amazingly. I think either I think either you either have to go Jermaine Johnson, or if you come back up here, you got to go Zion Johnson. One of these Johnsons is getting picked. You know what I'm saying? Rather whether it's the guard, whether it's the Zion Johnson on on offense to help your line, or whether it's you know Jermaine Johnson. And honestly, I'm going to say they go out and pick Jermaine Johnson. Moving back to the Houston Texans. Now, we've seen the Houston Texans earlier. They picked up, um, did I give them Kayvon? I believe I gave them Kayvon. No, I, not Kayvon, Tra Travon Walker. I gave them Travon Walker, and it still says they need every position. Honestly, they said they were going to come out. They said they were going to build this team around Davis Mills. You know, they said they were going to try to help Davis Mills as much as possible. And honestly, this is where I think they go get a line. And this is where they pick up a guy. I already passed him, but I'm just looking, just looking, just looking, just looking. This is where I think they go pick up a guy in Charles Cross. Charles Cross is right behind Evan Neal and um, Akem. Literally, you can put all of them in the same in the same type of same type of conversation. So I think they're gonna go draft Charles Cross right there. Moving on to the Baltimore Ravens, says they need a defensive line, a cornerback. And honestly, I think they need an offensive line too. But I think I think they're 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 gonna draft offensive linemen, just not first round. So with the Ravens first pick, and I think they really, really like this guy. You know, 
I honestly want to see them get a cornerback. I would like to see them with a Trent McDuffie. Well, I wouldn't like to see them with nothing because they're in our division. I'm a Steelers fan. But what I'm saying is, you know, I'm trying not to be biased here. Um, I want to see them get a cornerback, but I don't think it will happen. And honestly, I think they really like this guy. And he goes by the name of not Nicobe Dean, sir, Jordan Davis. And I think they will draft Jordan Davis. Yes, Jordan Davis will be drafted with the 14th pick. A lot of people think he'll go higher. Um, but no, he's going to go pretty low. He's going to be a top 15 pick. Jordan Davis will be a Baltimore Raven. Moving on to the Philadelphia Eagles. I already got all this figured out. And this guy's looking at me right now. His name is Jamison Williams. Yes, he's coming off an injury. But before he got hurt, Jamison Williams was the best receiver in this draft. So I think with the Eagles' first pick... They go Jamison Williams. Moving on to the New Orleans Saints. I already, already know what I want them to get here. They need a wide receiver as well. And they're going to go with this guy, Drake London. Yes, we're going to see two back-to-back -back receivers picked. So Drake London will be in that New Orleans uniform. Now we move on to the Los Angeles, Los Angeles Chargers who had a great offseason. They did what they were supposed to do on defense. Their offense is already immaculate. You got Justin Herbert. You got Austin Eckler, you got Keenan Allen, you got Mike Williams. And honestly, I think that they are they're Super Bowl contenders. They are Super Bowl contenders. And to become a Super Bowl contender, you need somebody to protect your future, your franchise. You need somebody to protect your quarterback. Like I was saying, I think the Los Angeles Chargers should do everything they need to protect their future, their quarterback, Justin Herbert. And I think they go out and draft Trevor Penning. Sorry, I clicked on his profile by accident. I think they go out and draft Trevor Penning. Moving on to the Philadelphia Eagles second pick. Now, I know a lot of Philly fans who want Devin Lloyd. I know a lot of Philly fans who would rather them take a cornerback because all you got behind there is Darius Slay and you got Avante Maddox. Darius Slay getting up there in age. He's not going to be in the league forever. He had a great year last year. He's Darius Slay, but he is aging. He is aging. So instead of instead of the Eagles going out and get Devin Lloyd, you've seen they drafted Jamison Williams earlier. Instead of the Eagles going out and get Devin Lloyd, they're going to go out and make the right decision. They're going to get a cornerback, and they're going to get a cornerback with the name of Andrew Booth Jr. They're going to get Andrew Booth. The New Orleans Saints are back on the clock. Now, this is going to be hard. This is going to be very hard because the New York Saints, they just drafted Drake London. As y'all seen, I picked for them. So who do they go with now? Who do they go with now? And I know who you go with. I know exactly who you go with. You go and you get somebody to protect the man who just torn his ACL. He's coming off a of torn ACL. You go out and get someone to protect Jameis Winston. He's coming off a torn ACL, and, you know, you don't want to see your quarterback ever go down with an injury like that. So, with the 19th pick, I think the Saints should draft Zion Johnson. He's a guard, and I think they should draft Zion Johnson. We're here on my team, the Pittsburgh Steelers. Malik Willis has already gone to the Panthers. Kenny Pickett has already gone to the D.C. Commanders. What do the Steelers do now? Do they still draft a quarterback? My answer to that is no. Because this is a guy who I was talking about even before I was talking about Malik Willis and Kenny Pickett. This is the guy that I first mentioned ever in the draft. And he's still on the clock. If the Steelers can't draft a quarterback, we rock out. We have a quarterback battle between Mason Rudolph. We have a quarterback battle between um, Mitchell Trubisky. And we probably draft a quarterback. Maybe I don't want to draft a quarterback second round. We get a quarterback somewhere. Because obviously we're not going to rock with two quarterbacks. But we do need help protecting our guys. Our centers are awful. Kendrick Green is awful. Move him back to guard, please. J.C. Hasenauer, he's not bad. But I think we go out and get, in my opinion, the best center in the draft. And we get Tyler Linderbaum with the 20th pick. As for the New England Patriots, this is no, this is no, like, this isn't even, 
a, a, a thought in my head right now on who they should draft. They're getting Chris Olave. I think no matter what happens, the Patriots are getting Chris Olave. And I knew I was going to leave somebody out. I'm sitting here looking at Trent McDuffie. And I just totally left him out. I drafted Andrew Booth over him, but that's honestly what I think the Eagles will do. And I honestly do think Trent McDuffie will fall. Because he's not getting the, the amount of love and attention as all the other cornerbacks, as, as an Amon Tosh Gardner, as a Derek Stingley, even as an Andrew Booth. I've heard more people talk about Andrew Booth than Trent McDuffie. And I, I like Trent McDuffie. But it looks like in my draft, he's falling. <laughs> so, moving on to the Green Bay Packers. Now, this is a very hard decision because you got Aaron Rodgers who just signed, was it a five-year deal? And I think Aaron Rodgers is what? I don't know how old Aaron Rodgers is. He's like 37, 38, maybe 39. And, um, yeah, do you want to get an offensive line to protect him? To me, I think they're, I don't think their offensive line is bad. But then you look at their receivers. They lost Devontae Adams. They lost Marquise valdez Scanlon. All they have is Alan Lazard. They did pick up Sammy Watkins. But you need more than that. Sammy Watkins is inconsistent. I like Alan Lazard. Robert Tunyon's coming off a torn ACL. You need a wide receiver, and the wide receiver they go out and get is Traylon Burks. You go out and you get Traylon Burks. So that's what I think they'll draft. As for the Cardinals, we got the Cardinals, man. And honestly, it's been a couple teams that I haven't done no research on in these drafts. I haven't done, I haven't seen what the Cardinals needed. I haven't seen what the Cowboys needed. It's a couple teams. It's a couple teams. And um, I really don't know what the Cardinals need. But right here, it's saying they need a guard, center, defensive line. So I'm actually just going to go help them out. And I'm going to go get them a line because Kyler Murray do be getting chased around that field. We've all seen Kyler Murray get chased around that field. And I think, look at Kenyon Green still here. Wow, I passed by Kenyon Green. Well, this is the perfect chance for <laughs> the uh, Cardinals to go get their guard. And I think they're going to draft Kenyon Green. Says the Dallas Cowboys need an offensive line as well, which is true because they did lose Lyle Collins. Um, I believe he plays for the uh, Bengals now. I think he's in our division now. And, uh, yeah, so it looks like they need an offensive line. Let's see who's here for them. Let's see who's here. Do I want to? That's the thing, though. Wait, do I want to get them an offensive line? Or do or do we keep stacking that defense? Because they could easily, they could easy, easily take George right here. And I like George as an edge rusher. To me, he's nasty. He's nasty. You gra you draft Michael Parsons one year, and then you draft George the next year. And this this draft is edge heavy. This draft is it's a lot of great edges in this draft, and George is one of them. You know, he gets overshadowed by Aiden Hutchinson and all the other guys. But oh man, so I'm actually said that the Cowboys draft George. It's a great pick for them. We're moving on to the Buffalo Bills. The Buffalo Bills. A lot of people are saying running backs aren't going to go first round, and I believe it. So I think they're going to rock with Devin Singletary, or they could possibly get a running back second round. But I don't think no running back will go first round. You know, I don't think they're going to draft a receiver, which is say they need right here. I don't think they're going to draft a receiver. Why? Because you have Stephon Diggs. Uh, I don't think they're bringing Emmanuel Sanders back. But Gabriel Davis has impressed. Has impressed a lot of eyes with that Chiefs game in the playoffs, and I think he will have a nice year. Um, I believe you still have Cole Beasley. I don't think you, you need to go out and draft a receiver. So with this pick, you know, you have Tredavious White. Um, you lost Levi Wallace. What's your other cornerbacks? I, I can't think of his name right now. Is it Torian Johnson? Is that his name? Something like that. You have him, you know, you, 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 you got guys. But with this pick, I think either you go Devontae Wyatt, you help with your D-line. Or you go Trent McDuffie. And honestly, <laughs> it's OD. It's out of hand. But I'm going to give the Buffalo Bills Trent McDuffie. <laughs> That's insane. Here, with the Tennessee Titans. This is hard, man. This is hard. Because your receivers are non-existent. All your weapons are non-existent. We don't know what's going to happen with A.J. Brown. I think he will stay in Tennessee. 
that after A.J. Brown, who was there? They let go Julio Jones. Who, who, who was after A.J. Brown? And honestly, there's really no receivers left. You have Sky Moore here. You got George Pickens. I've done my research on those guys, Jahan Dotson. But they're all like second-round guys, basically. A guy that nobody's talking about is John Michi. John Michi, to me, is the most underrated wide receiver in this draft. So they need it. They also need a line, but they need receivers bad. So I think they go out and draft John Michi. Moving on to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This one is an easy decision for me. Um, Tom Brady's coming out of retirement, and you got to protect Tom Brady. You got to protect Tom Brady. So this is a no-brainer here. You go out and you get a guard or a center to protect Tom Brady. You need someone. I don't know. I'm not going to lie. I don't know any of these guys. I don't know not one of these guys. Who do they pick, though? Because you need somebody to protect Tom. He's 40, 45. Mm, this is where it's getting tricky at. Because now mostly all those top guys are going. This is where it's getting tricky. It's getting real tricky. Actually, I do know Dylan Parham. I'm tripping my bad. Um, I did research on him, but I don't think he's a first-round pick. Definitely think Tampa needs to They gotta protect Tom. So we're just going to go Dylan Parham just because. Moving on to the Green Bay Packers. We've seen them. We've seen the Green Bay Packers get Traylon Burks. And honestly, this is where I think the linebackers start to go. Yes, you want to protect Aaron Rodgers. This is where I think your linebackers go. And <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. I like the Packers defense already. But I think the Packers are going to get a guy in their hands. And that guy happens to be Devin Lloyd. It's going to be Devin Lloyd. As for the Kansas City Chiefs, they're saying they need receivers here, but I don't think they're actually going to go receivers. I think they're going to fix their, their up front defense. Because their up front defense tends to slack. I don't think they're going to go cornerback, even though they lost some of their cornerbacks. Um, they're probably going to lose Tyron Matthew, but I think they fixed their up front defense. I think they're going to go Devonta Wyatt, but they have back to back picks. So with that being said, after you pick Devonta Wyatt, um, who do you go next? What cornerbacks are here? Kyra Elam still here. Daxton Hill is still here. Mm. I thought Daxton Hill was a safety. Maybe I'm tripping. Mm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Interesting. But um, I'm going to say they picked Kyrie. Elam. Moving on to the Bengals. Yes, they do need to work on their line. And I know these last, these last like, five, six picks look terrible. Because I don't know these guys. I told y'all. It was some teams I didn't do research on because I'm thinking they're good. <laughs> I'm thinking they're, they're they're too great. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter who they draft. Right? These are teams that's going to be good regardless. The Chiefs, Packers, the Bucks. You know, Bengals just went to the bowl. Yes, they need help with their line. So I think they're going to go get a lineman. I don't know who any of these guys is. I'm not going to lie to y'all. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie to y'all. Because honestly, I'm only doing this draft for like the first 22 picks. <laughs> like, after the 20, after the... Like, 22nd pick? Who has the 23rd? I think the Cardinals have the 23rd, Cowboys 24th. After it gets to that point, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to y'all. So, I'm about to just pick anybody right here. I guess they go Bernard Ray, man. <laughs> uh, moved on to the Detroit Lions. Honestly, and I've been saying this, I think they take a quarterback with the last pick of the first round. They take a quarterback with the last pick of the first round. And that quarterback, why is it not letting me hit the the quarterback thing? There we go. Uh, but let's exit that out. And let's take that out. Thank you. I think they go quarterback. It's not going to be Sam Howell. It's going to be Desmond Ritter. It's not going to be Matt Coral. I think those guys will go second, maybe third. I think it's going to be Desmond Ritter. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of the first round. Honestly, I don't think it's bad. Aiden Hutchinson, number one pick. Kayvon Thibews. Trevon Walker, Evan Neal to protect Zach Wilson, Amar Gardner for the Giants with another defensive piece down there with Kyle Hamilton. Malik Willis was the first quarterback drafted at six 
to the Panthers. Garrett Wilson was the first quarter, quarterback. Wide receiver taken off of the board. Going to the Atlanta Falcons. I can to the Seahawks. Derek Stingley falls to the New York Jets as a 10th pick. Kenny Pickett, second quarterback drafted in the first round. He's going to the D.C. Commanders. Jermaine Johnson helping out that Vikings defense. Charles Cross protecting Davis Mills since they're standing behind Davis Mills. A guy who I think Baltimore really likes, Jordan Davis. They get their guy. The Eagles, they drafted the Alabama receiver last year, the Heisman Trophy winner, Devonta Smith. They're going to go draft, draft Jamison Williams. Drake London, the, the Saints need a receiver bad. We don't know what's going on, Michael Thomas. They go out and draft the big, speedy Drake London. Chargers get a pick to protect their line. Trevor Penning. Eagles draft Andrew Booth. To me, to me, my first, to me, I think these first, these first 20 picks are, <laughs> are good. To me, these first 20 picks are good. This is what I would do if I was these guys. Zion Johnson, you know, he goes to the Saints to help them on the line. Steelers get Tyler Linderbaum. They couldn't get Malik Willis. They couldn't get Kenny Pickett. So they go out and get Tyler Linderbaum, help the line out. Chris Olave, which I think everybody knows he's going to be a Patriot. So he's going to the Patriots. Traylon Burks going to the Green Bay Packers to help them out. Kenyon Green, you know, he's one of the best guards in the draft. Cardinals get one of the best guards. George Carlifitz, or whatever his last name is. If I could redo this, I would actually swap George and I would make them draft. Uh, is it Kyra Elam? No, no, not Kyra. Daxton Hill. I would actually make them draft Daxton Hill. So I kind of messed up on that. I would actually have the Cowboys draft Daxton Hill and then George go somewhere else to one of these other teams. Maybe the Bucks, <laughs> honestly. Or 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 maybe maybe a, a the Packers or a Chiefs or something. But I would actually have the Cowboys draft Daxton Hill. So I kind of messed up on that. And then Trent McDuffie fell to the Bills. Uh, I figured the Titans need a wide receiver so they get John Mucci. And I'm not going to lie, from the 27th, shit, even from the 25th, really, because that's where I started to get befuddled. <laughs> that's where I didn't know what to do. So probably from the 25th all the way to the last pick, besides the Lions, because I think they're going to draft a quarterback with the last pick. I think I was just picking guys. I'm not going to lie. I think I was just picking guys. But I definitely should have gave Daxton Hill to the Cowboys. I kind of messed up right there. But, hey, this is my mock draft. Like I said, from 1 from one to 20, from 1 to 23, I think I did pretty damn good. <laughs> I think I fixed a lot for each franchise. So, y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comments. Y'all leave in the comments who y'all think will be drafted. Y'all don't got to put y'all whole, whole first round, but... Who y'all think y'all favorite team will draft tomorrow? And this is a long video, but it's worth it. It's fun. So, hey, it is what it is. I'm going to catch y'all. I love y'all. Everybody, please stay safe. And I'm out, bro.